Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we're here to offer you insight and information about your board games. Have you tried out the game Orleans from Tasty Minstrel Games? Um, maybe you should check out my review if you've not heard of it. But if you have, would you like to spice it up a little bit or maybe add something a little bit more? Well today we're doing a mini review of the expansion for Orleans Trade and Intrigue. Firstly, let's talk about what's actually in the expansion. So out of the box, you're gonna get a new set of hourglass tiles. Um, those are the ones you flip over at the start of their turn with the hourglass on the back of them. You get three new place tiles, which are the ones that have numbers one to two on the back. You get two new beneficiary boards, one centered around trade and one centered around intrigue, unsurprisingly. And you get a set of order cards, which is kind of the new element that they've added in this expansion. How different is it from what's in the original game? Well, all of these pieces can be played individually or all together. So you can change Orleans as much or as little as you'd like. I think you'll find, however, that some of the modules are more cutthroat than others, um, offering like direct player interaction, and then others will be more generous. So how does trade and intrigue affect the original Orleans? Let's go through this bit by bit. So firstly, the hourglass tiles. Um, these didn't seem all that different from the original ones. However, it was noticeable that if something negative happened, it was really negative. But also if something good happened, it was really, really good. So it just seems like they ramped up the tiles a little bit from the original. Secondly, the place tiles. Um, there's only three of those, so you know they weren't particularly noticeable um, in amongst all of the other tiles. Um, neither, neither of them seemed particularly groundbreaking or special. Now, the new beneficiary boards, I'll start with Intrigue. Um, wow, that's a, a mean board. Um, it's one that allows direct player interaction. It allows you to mess with other people's things. Um, I think some players um, will really enjoy this and this it's definitely a step away from what Orleans normally does, while others will not be so fond of it. But because it's modular, you can you know choose to play with it if you like it or if you don't. Um, the other side then of course is the what I'm calling the trade board it doesn't actually have a title um, but it kind of plays around with items um, and it's quite interesting it's definitely very beneficiary it all feels very good and happy so it balances out kind of the nastiness of the intrigue board um, but I liked it I think a little bit more than the others than, than the intrigue one um, the other thing then of course is the order cards which are completely new to Orleans um, and these were basically you know a, li a list of locations on cards and they wanted you to be able to trade in particular items at these locations and your reward then is roughly double the points um, that the items themselves would have been worth so you'd think that this would be kind of a really good strategy but we found that it was best to kind of casually pick them up and not to focus on them too directly um, because it would let everything else kind of fall to the wayside I think they're interesting but not groundbreaking um, but there is definitely something new to try um, when it comes to the game. Is trade and intrigue worth having? Well I definitely think it offers a bunch of variety for the original game of Orleans. It also offers a completely different approach on the game as a whole but by focusing on this trade and intrigue aspect. I think if you really like Orleans and you're interested in expanding your horizons a little bit then this would be a pretty good place to start. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or queries you'd like to make about Orleans Trading Intrigue, I'd really love to hear from you in the comment box below. Otherwise, if you'd like to just do something nice and help support the channel, why not like or subscribe or maybe even tell a friend? That'd be pretty great. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.